Streamer is now available for you to host on your mobile device. So let's dive into what you need to know to make this work for you. And by the way, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and that bell below. Now, one of the key things that you're going to want to make sure that you have no matter where you are in your streamer journey is some really rocking overlays. So make sure you go grab my free overlays I have for you down in the description below that are going to help you upgrade your live stream so they can look really clean and super professional. All right, let's head to the phone where I'm going to show you how we do this. Okay, so when you're getting started on mobile, you're going to log into your Streamyard account. They'll send you your login code through your email and then you'll go from there. So this looks literally just like what you're going to experience on the desktop version. You go to create your broadcast, you select where you want to have your broadcast go to. We're going to give it a title. Let's just say hi. Okay. I can even schedule it for later. Like if I'm on the go and I need to make sure that this is working for like an upcoming event or anything, upload my thumbnail image. If I have it natively on my computer or take a picture, whatever it may be. I'm going to hit create my broadcast and it's going to load me into the screen just like it does on my desktop. Now I can be vertical like this, or if I need to go horizontal, I can. And which is what I would highly suggest that you do instead. Um, because this just fills in the phone better, especially if you're gonna have guests or you're bringing other people on and stuff. So, oh, and as you can see, my browser has less connection with my mic. Um, so I can go into here, I can select my, my settings that I need, if I need to use like speakerphone or if I have a headset piece, um, whatever it may be um, for using this. So since I'm demoing it, I'm not too concerned. Again, with my camera, I can choose which camera I want, whether it's front facing, back facing, whatever it may be. Go back into enter the broadcast. As you can see, I have mute, I have camera, I have mic. I can put my name in how I want to be and enter the broadcast. So you can see I'm in here. Per usual, I'm always gonna encourage you guys to make sure your lenses are clean. As you can see, I can add in guests. I can um, have all of my banners that I have over here right on the side. I can have all my branding that I need for whatever I'm doing. Add it in just like I do anything else um, when I am live streaming. It's important to note that when you're going live, unlike on desktop where you would hit it in the upper right hand corner, you're actually gonna do it in the lower right hand corner. So I am just going to hit go live just to show you what it looks like. Hey everyone on the internet, I'm doing a video for StreamYard about how you go live from the mobile device with their new interface. It's super awesome. And I just wanted to share it with you guys here. That's what's happening. So, and then I just hit end and again, rate it per usual and I'm done. That's all you have to do to go live on your mobile device. One of the biggest missions for StreamYard is that it's ease of use. They have to be able to use it for anybody with any tech in any way, shape or form. So any mobile device that you have, including tablets, cell phones, iPhones, Android, doesn't matter. You can use this so long as you have an internet browser and you can use any internet browser that you have, whether it's Safari or Chrome or whatever you have built into your phone, you can use it. There is no apps that you need to download. All you do is go to your browser, have a solid internet connection and you can go live with StreamYard. If you're looking for more resources of what you can do to get more from streamer you're gonna watch this video i have for you right here and until next time i'll see you soon